It's scary where the meme coins are going, especially Doge. That's why you might want to sell your XRP for Doge. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm joined here with Maurizio. Mr. M, how are you doing today, man? Hey, Da Vinci, always happy to be on your show. I'm doing great. It's a fantastic kind of half sunny day in Dubai. So enjoying the, sh the shade. <laughs> yeah, half sunny day. Well, you know what? They've been usually doing the, rain, the with cloud seeding here so that it rains. So now it's co cooler in Dubai. I noticed that Carl calls it cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to miss it soon because summer is about to pick up, right? Exactly. It's going to be 50 degrees Celsius here. So yeah, it's going to be nice. I like the 50 degrees, right? But some people don't. And yeah, a lot of people leave here in Dubai. But that's not what you want to came, you guys came to watch about the weather report here in Dubai. You want to know what's going on with Doge, right? And we're going to be talking about that. And also we're going to be showing you some cool things going on with Point W. But first, let's go on to the charts of Doge. Doge here, like it just did a little bit of a pump in the last few days. This is not the real pump. This is nothing. This is just a beginning stage. We might fall back a little bit because we're just creeping up here. But let's see if the weekly, let's see if the weekly has expanded the bands yet or how the weekly looks like. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so the bands are a little bit expanded on the weekly. But yeah, Doge looks ready to pump all the way, at least at 30 cents for the first tar stop target. But... There is going to be a pump day of epic proportions where we're going to see Doge make it all the way up to close to $2 there, right? We're going to probably get up to like the, you know, crazy amount here, the 2.618 Doge or even worse. It could get really ugly and get all the way up to the, the, <laughs> the four, which is just a little bit lower than that. But anyways, it's like three, just under $3. So Look for that in the next this next bull run. Probably not this year, but next year there's going to be an absolute epic, epic run for Doge because it is one of those meme coins that is, has the strongest fundamentals, and it can it isn't like Pepe or Chiba, where a dollar is an extreme. Well, whilst a dollar is extreme, it's still like within the range of reality if we were to take a look at the market cap, right? So. A lot of coins will do some crazy market caps this time around because most of the top 100 coins are in the four or $5 billion range, right? Yeah, it was said. And by the way, I told you, right, I got some Doge a couple of weeks ago, so I'm not a meme coin virgin anymore. I actually own some Dogecoin. It's the only meme coin I have in my portfolio. <laughs> nice, nice. It would so, be nice to see How much did you get? Not much. I think it was like, I don't know, like five five thousand dollars or something like this. Nice. Like, so how many how many doges does is that work out to? Like how many little doge? Somewhere in yeah. the twenty eight, twenty nine thousand, I think it was. So yeah, maybe a dollar doge will give you twenty eight thousand. That's not not too bad, right? That'd be cool. Yeah, dinner sorted. Huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's where I, I think doge is going because it's the it's the king of the meme coins, even though it has no real value and people say well people will use it for money unlikely it's just you know we're in a we're super we're in a super cycle of the memes right and so the memes have just gone absolutely haywire in fact that it's gone so bad that the solana owner the person who benefits most from the meme coins is saying stop <laughs> <laughs> <True>. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah, enough. Yeah. <laughs> are, are you seeing oh, a migration wow. from are you seeing a migration from Solana to maybe Base or some other chain when it comes to memes? What's your view? Do you think they're gonna migrate into another trend chain or do you think they're gonna stop for a bit? Meme coins will migrate to another chain? Yeah, like the wave, you know, we've seen from Solana mm -hmm. maybe to Base. Uh, I was reading on Twitter that many people are calling, oh, meme coin on Base chain is about to happen, blah, blah, blah. Do I you mean, also... we'll see a, a, a muted version of that on the Base mm -hmm. chain and some other chains, but nothing, nothing like like we see in Solana. Nothing will happen. I mean, Solana's king in that because the, the, the uh, fees are significantly lower compared to every other chain. So, and if you want to get a uh, Solana or or Dogecoin, you could open up account at Coin W, 
www.davinciej15.com, right? Links are in the description below. And you can actually get some of uh, these tokens that we're talking about. Just don't buy XRP, please. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but. <laughs> you can use CoinW to sell your XRP into Doge, into Shiba, right? At least you'll have some, some actual action with all those. Or even Brett, I think, I don't know if they support Brett, but hope the, if they do, Ben, yeah, I think Brett's going to do well. So, okay, so. Nice. I want to also talk about an issue that CoinW had. They have resolved as basically they were using, they were preventing v people with VPNs from actually logging on. And that's been resolved. And we also now have a winner for our event. And the winner is a, well, UUID, uh, two seven one zero three one one she it's a girl mm -hmm. she I won this and they will be contacting you just make sure you watch out for scammers they always try to 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 pretend to be someone else and tell you, you won something or got something so don't ex don't give them any money right and that's all just if they ask for money it's the wrong person yeah, really well said, you know, there's going to be people contacting you, hey, you won, and uh, no, I mean, make sure it's coming from a legit source. And like you said, yeah, she won a 20 minutes phone call with you, which is incredible. And guys, remember, if you want to participate to those kind of giveaways and those kind of amazing wins, just go to the Telegram group and post your trading wins because we're going to, it's not going to be the last one. So I'm sure there's going to be many more to come, right, Da Vinci? Definitely, definitely many more to come and the more, more giveaways, more events and so forth. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll be talking about those events and giveaways on this channel here, especially on Saturday. Okay. So with that said, let's do some trading. We can see that, you know, Bitcoin created like a dump down and this was, I had a short, I had a short plan in here to the, to stop with the take profits exactly here. And then reverse it. And yeah, it is reversing exactly as we planned in my personal group here. I can show it to you here. There it is. Burst down here. And then, it, then we expected something like this, right? And a top out. Well, you know, in order to see the top out, we'll talk about it. You have to join my group. But davinciej15.com. Links in the description below. And also, if you, if you also want to see some of these trading tips, you can also join the trading telegram group for corn w here where you can actually see some uh updates of course uh from from me and so forth and then trading signals are all here as well so yeah join that group it's all free to join but only if only if you signed up to coin w dot da vinci j 15.com this is, is exclusive for people who sign up under coinw.davinciej15.com. Then in order to get in, you just head over to the link in the description or in the, the pin comment. It's coinwtelegram.davinciej15.com and join this group, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. There's so many people in there. It's growing like crazy. And I love the the sharing wins in the trading part is my favorite because you can see all people making money basically, which is awesome. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want I don't want to... FOMO here. I'm going to wait until mm. this comes back a little bit, it comes back to, to the bottom of the 70K here. I think we can see, I think it could put possibly can retest this lows back here because you can see that we were failing, fail, like trying to break through, trying to break through. And we finally broke through and then, nope, actually we're going to hold the line. And I think we might come back a little bit further. So I'm going to, you know, maybe just the top of that level here at this uh, and, and put a, a limit order instead. Because, yeah, I think we're going to retest the lows before we actually go because nothing goes up in a straight line. And so, yeah, I'm going to go, you know, 10x leverage, right? 75%, right? Nice. And I'm just going to put a stop loss on this one, hmm. right? Just below here, let's see here, at the, uh, the 68.9. 68.9. Nice. Looks a little bit too high. There we go. And yeah, there it is. I'm going to do a hit a buy. Yeah, okay. Confirm. And there we have it. We have my order filled cool. and ready to go. Oops, did I hit the wrong thing? I hit the, did I put in the, oh, I put in the wrong price. Okay, so when you do that, whenever you do that, right, uh, and you've made a mistake, 
always, as a trader, you should always just clean up the mistake right away. You don't leave it and say, okay, well, oh, shoot. So what you should do is actually close the trade, right? And then just hit the close all. This mm -hmm. is the only trade. It's better to do it straight then, away. And then redo it again. So once again, it was supposed to be the seven, the approximately 70,070. There we go. Stop loss, 68.9. And yeah, there you guys learned something about trading is what you should do. Whenever you make a mistake, right, you should clean that up. And there it is. Now it's in the uh, orders here. And so yeah, I'm going to leave the, the take profits a little open so that we'll take profits. We'll add to the take profits another time. All right. So there you go. I have opened up my trade on Bitcoin. The only thing, the, the only cryptocurrency you want to hold as a base money, right? You want to hold Bitcoin. For, for as real money, you can play with all the other altcoins, but Bitcoin is the real money. Exactly. You can use altcoins to make more Bitcoins, right? That's nice. Exactly. I always consider that. You want to always get some more Bitcoin. And of course, I want to end it off that there is a time when you will want to sell some of your Bitcoin for something real, something tangible. I would suggest you wait until... You have a percentage that you're going to be able to spend whenever you want to, but a other percentage is you're going to wait until Bitcoin is the unit of account, or or you can see a Bitcoin be overvalued severely, and you can buy a private jet with one Bitcoin. I think that's an over severe price valuation. Notice that I didn't say dollar valuation, and don't look at the private jet dollar because here's a problem: once Bitcoin becomes money and people are buying like accepting it as money they're not going to care about how many dollars the asset they're selling you they're only caring about how many bitcoin they're getting yeah one bitcoin equal one bitcoin right exactly mm -hmm. they will only care because they'll realize that that's the real value and so that's the whole point and so once that happens right you want to, to compare it because a, a, a private jet might come down in dollar value, right? And we don't know where that dollar is because dollars don't are not a fair, not a real fair measurement of value. Um, once that that once that realization occurs, like just like when you know Michael Saylor realized, damn, I want more. I want everything <laughs> in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Once that happens in a large scale, my God. My God, it's going to be absolute epic. Yeah, said, I like what you said last time, which is, I'm going to wait until, you know, one Bitcoin, you can, can get you like a villa on the palm, then maybe I'll sell <laughs> one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, uh, exactly. I agree with that one. Exactly. And there you, there you have it. You have a clear, and the reason why that's going to happen is because how many Bitcoin there is there? There are going to ever be? Well, that's a fantastic question. I mean, technically, it's not no. even 21 million. It's less, no, it's way true. less. But let's say 21 million. Let's say 21 yes. million. Okay. And so how many, how, how many millionaires are there? Oof. Way more than 21 million. I don't know, actually, but there's probably way more. <laughs> yes. The old reported ones, just the reported ones, is over 60 million. Wow. Not everyone can have One. Bitcoin. Mm. Right, thanks to MicroStrategies and BlackRock, BlackRock and all those guys, not everyone can actually have one Bitcoin. So you can see where this thing's going, right? When you realize that you can actually store all your value, all your wealth from instead of putting it into a house, you can put it into something liquid like Bitcoin. And it's like, oh, shame. And no one can take it from me? Oh, and no one can say that, oh, no, 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 no. And can like, you know, like there's a war going on. So now you, you're you on the wrong side of the enemy. So now you are the enemy. But I didn't do anything. It doesn't matter. You're guilty. All that stops. See the power? Jesus. If you don't have any Bitcoin, man, you're going to be missing out. All right. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know I did. How about you, Maurizio? I loved it. Thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure, Da Vinci. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Cheers.